Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of the 12 Games of Switchmas, and today I will be looking at Game Builder Garage, and overall, this game is really fun, and I've really been enjoying it over the past 6 months, and there's just a lot of things to do in this game, like actually making games is really simple and really fun, and I mean, it's a little tricky at first, but once you know how to do it, it's actually not too hard, and... I feel like it's way more in depth than like any of the Labo Garage things because you could actually do a lot more in here and it's actually a lot simpler to understand because like the whole menu is a lot easier like with actually programming games and everything and like the node on make it a lot easier you could actually see things better and it's not just like a black screen and everything with a bunch of um nodes and everything around there it's, it's a lot easier to visualize and everything and i liked a lot of the features that they have in here like you could actually make your own textures which is really helpful for making like certain themed games and even like remaking games and i've played a lot of the games that people have uploaded online and i did the um games of the week series and there's a lot of really cool creations and some really cool recreations of already existing games too and i'm really surprised with what people can do with game builder garage and i feel like people continue to make games for this like quality games even though this game has already been out for a few months and the popularity really isn't as high as it was back a few months ago and it's kind of interesting because it does seem like it's somewhat popular still even though a lot of people don't really talk about it online because I, I feel I still play it a lot because I do the games of the week series and it's I still feel like there's a lot of new creations coming out for it which is really good and I really hope Nintendo supports this game sometime in the future because I would say that it's somewhat successful I, I wouldn't say it's as successful as like Mario Maker 2 or games like that but I, I would say it's more successful than Labo to a degree, I would say, because um, this is much cheaper and much more accessible than Labo, and it's easier to, like, actually post things online, and it actually has, like, an online community and, like, a website and everything, so I really hope Nintendo upstate updates this game and adds, like, new features or increases the node on limit and increases the amount of games you can make or download. I think that would be great if they did something like that. I really hope they do, because... I feel like Nintendo should continue to improve like a thriving community and I feel like Nintendo might know that this game is somewhat popular because there's a lot of games being made and being downloaded for this so I hope they do something in the future. They really haven't had any updates since the game launched which is kind of weird but kind of expected too because this is more of one of their more gimmicky games but Anyways, that's Game Builder Garage. I've really been enjoying it. And one more thing, I actually have an announcement. Tomorrow, I will be doing the Game Builder Garage Awards, and the vote is already completed for that. So stay tuned to hear more announcements about, like, the time it will be out tomorrow and everything. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.